part 16 indices you will find this on page 94 in the Namibia Mathematics grade 9 textbook y equals mx plus c to success indices let's just revise the following the number on the ground that will be the base the number there in the air the small number that will be the index or the exponent and we will say that this is 5 5 to the power of 4 okay let's go through the laws and the rule so exponential expressions the laws of indices law 1 if i have x to the power m times x to the power n equals x m plus n to multiply powers of the same number base keep the base so keep the base x and add the indices so say m plus n so let's look at this example then keep the x and say 3 plus 2 that's 5 the same here keep the base that's 2 and if there's no exponent or index there's a 1 so 4 plus 1 that's 5 if i look at law 2 so if it's x to the power m divide x to the power n so i keep the base and what do i do i subtract the indices so to divide powers of the same base okay keep the base and subtract the indices so in this case i keep the x and i say 5 minus 2 that's 3 the same here keep the 5 and say 7 minus 3 that's 4 okay then the next one law 3 so to raise a power of a number base to a further power keep the base and multiply the indices so i keep the x and i say m times n that is m n so i keep the base and i say 3 times 4 that's 12. in this case the same keep the 3 and say 4 times 2 that will be 8. okay rule 4. so if the indices are the same you keep the indices and multiply the bases so in this case it's m m keep the m and multiply the bases so x times y will be x y the same here if you see this a keep the a and multiply the bases so two times three that will be six the same here keep the base and say three times four it's twelve and you can test it by working it out so three times three is nine four times four is sixteen and nine times sixteen will also give you one hundred and forty four if we come to this one can you see um, if the indices are the same can you see they are the same you keep the indices you keep the m and you divide the bases okay so in this case you keep the x and you divide the bases so 6 divided by 3 that's 2 in this case keep the index and divide the bases so 15 divided by 5 that's 3 and then 3 to the power of 3 is 27 okay uh, laws 1 and 2 and 3 the same base but different indices and then the rule um, it's different bases but the same index so just make sure that you know the difference between this and this okay now um, do the following do try now 30 do number a number b number c number f number i number n and number s okay you can stop the video and as soon as you are finished you can continue with the video Let's start. Try now 30. Let's start with number A. So Y3 times Y4. Now in this case, the bases are the same. So keep the base. And what do I do? What's the rule? I add the indices. So 3 plus 4, that will be 7. Okay. Then if I come to the next one, number B. Let's just swap colors. Then it's x7 divide x3. Now again, keep the base and subtract the indices. So say 7 minus 3, what will that be? That will be 4. Okay. And then the next one, number C. Then it's that rising to a power, so it's a double index. So keep the base and multiply the indices okay and then number f 
So if it's x and this is negative 3 times x and it's negative 2. Now you do exactly the same. You keep the base and you add. So, But if you say negative 3 plus negative 2, it's the signs are the same. So I keep the sign and I add the numbers. And if I add the numbers, I will get ne negative 5. So this is going to be negative 5. Okay, that's good. Later on, we will simplify this further and make this index positive. Okay, let's go on. Number i. So if it's e to the power 4, divide e to the power negative 2. So I write the e, um, and I'm going to, what if it's divide, I subtract. But I want to, so, so subtract, but put it in brackets. Can you see? And can you remember what? We will say we will say a negative times a negative is a positive, so it will be four plus two, and that will give me an answer of e four plus two, and that will be six. Okay, and then the let's i okay let's just make space for that new ones, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so if I do the next one. So what will the next one be? It will be n. So it is again negative. So it's k. It's negative 5. And it's negative 2. And do exactly the same. Keep the base and multiply. Negative 5 times negative 2. There's two negative signs. It's an even number. So it will be positive 10. And that will be the answer. And then the last one, number s. 2a squared multiply 3a to the power of 3. So basically, first multiply this out. Remember, this is the story of my boy and my girl. So whatever I do to one, I do to the other one. So in this case, it's 2. 2 times 2 is 2a. 1 times 2 is 2. Do exactly the same. Remember, 1, 1. So it's 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and then A, 1 times 3 is also 3. And then I'm just going to work it out. So in this case, I'm just going to say 2 times 2, that will be 4A squared. 3 times 3 times 3, that will be what? That will be 27A3. And if I'm going to multiply that, I'm going to get 108 and now, what do I do if the bases are the same? I add the indices, so 3 plus 2, that will be an answer of 5. Um, I didn't give you this one, but I want you quickly just to, to do O and T, because this is just the rule that we are testing there. You can stop again, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue. But I'm going to continue with O. So it's 4X times 3X. Can you remember? If the, ba if the indices are the same, I keep the indices and I multiply. So I say 4 times 3, what will that be? That will be 12. And the same with number T. Let's just get another color, T. So this was 16 to the power A, divide 2 to the power A. So in this case, case I will keep the A, I will keep the A, and I will say 16 divided by 2, that will be 8. And that will be my final answer. Okay. And this is just applying the rules of the previous page.